Morales They might just call me Dallas If I got to catch them all I volunteer to take the challenge I got the plug in the orders I got the connect account I'm trying to get me the sort of joy I get my toys, toys, action figures Toys, What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. I'm your host, Red Shenny, and I want to wish everyone out there a happy, happy New Unicron Day. Happy New Unicron Day. It's, uh, what's today, the 6th? It's October 6th, so that means that the campaign has officially ended uh, to fan source or crowdfund uh, HasLab's uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Unicron. Um, this is the Unicron that we have been waiting since 1986. It's August of 1986 for... Um, we were going to get a Unicron figure uh, back then. They referred to that one as the Grail because they actually made uh, the prototype for it, but never actually put it out. Um, it's been seen at BotCon and uh, different conventions over the years. And uh, it's always referred to, again, as the Grail. I wouldn't mind if they actually put that one out in limited numbers. I actually uh, brought that up to uh, John and Ben over at Hasbro uh, when they were out here during Comic-Con in July. But anyway, we uh, better news for us fans. They actually have uh, put out a Unicron that uh, I, I actually uh, reviewed uh, a couple videos ago. Um, that you guys were able to check out. A lot of you guys were actually able to check that out along with the music video uh, for the Toys, Noise, and Action Figures channel. But uh, we, we got the figure now. We actually, uh, it was backed. Um, Unicron is the chaos bringer and um, he really brought the chaos uh, with the HasLab's announcement of uh, 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 trying to get 8,000 backers for this project. Um, I've never seen uh the fans either love or hate um transformers news as much as i have with the announcement of uh unicron and how they were putting it out and doing the crowdfunding uh type like they did with uh java's uh sale barge um but if you if you looked on the message boards if you looked on social media uh you had fans on one side they were like yes awesome excellent can't wait to get it i'm backing it uh no questions asked uh some of us like myself actually got a chance to actually see the figure um in real life uh and uh damn near touch it uh and and knew that it was going to be worth every penny and it was a once in a lifetime thing uh for uh collectors like myself and then you had the guys on the other side that were cursing the name of hasbro and uh stick it to the man and, and all kinds of stuff um, um which is crazy uh when you're a fan of something uh, especially something that's been around for 35 years transformers has been around for 35 years this year uh, starting in 1984 and uh you just had fans out there that uh you know really there was a lot of vitriol online uh talking about this unicron um uh crowdfunding effort uh but it triumph unicron the chaos springer is on its way i'm happy i know the fans that uh genuinely wanted to see this happen are happy uh whether they backed it or not um if you couldn't you couldn't but if you still uh supported it and you still said good uh kudos to the fans that could get it uh those are the kind of fans i actually really appreciate because there's been plenty of times that uh brands and uh and uh uh, even Transformer items that I was a fan of that at the time I couldn't get my hands on for whatever reason, whether it be uh, the price or whether it be uh, um, where it actually was located at or whatever. There was just a lot of situations where it is like, OK, I couldn't get it. Or uh, I love Jordans. I, I'm a big uh, collector of Jordans. Uh, I like a good Jordan sneaker every now and then. What can I say? But I was never mad at the people that went out of their way, did what they had to do to get a pair of Jordans. There's a ton of exclusives that I've, I'll never get my hands on when it comes to Jordans, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm happy for those that could get it. I'm happy for the people that, that went out of their way and traveled all the way to this city and went to this exclusive sneaker shop and stood in line or whatever they had to do to go get the, the pair of Jordans that they wanted. I was always um, not a hater on that. I'm like, yo, do you? You got those? I'm happy with mine. Uh, but I, 
I saw the uh, I saw the brattiness come out of a lot of uh, Transformer fans uh, when it came to this announcement. Um, so mm, you know, I don't want to be petty, but uh, we did it. We did it regardless. It happened. Um, I believe that uh, they actually exceeded uh, the crowdfunding uh, goal. It was eight thousand, and they exceeded it. Um, I think it got backed by instead of just not just a hundred percent, but like two hundred eighty-one percent. Last time I looked at uh, the Hasbro Pulse uh, page, I think it was at two hundred eighty-one percent. Meanwhile, the sell bars actually needed a, a minimum of five thousand backers, and they actually ended up instead of just getting the hundred percent of the backers that they needed, they actually I think I got a they got a hundred and seventy-six uh, percent of the backers that were necessary uh, to uh, get the sell bars made. Um, and they needed less backers. Um, so there was a lot of speculation when, uh, the rollout happened with Unicron. Um, it seemed a little bit bumpy. Um, initially there weren't international, uh, they weren't offering, uh, it internationally. Uh, you couldn't get backers from, uh, Europe and, uh, Japan. And then, uh, I believe, uh, uh, it was Takara Tomi, I think, that, uh, offered to, uh, actually let the... Japanese uh, buyers um, and then uh, over in uh, Europe that was maybe what not even two weeks ago that they announced that Kapow uh, that online retailer was going to be offering uh, to Europe and um, and Australia I believe came after uh, the initial launch in Australia I think it was going through EB Games or something like that so it, it wasn't a smooth rollout um, and I don't think anything like this could be um, uh, no pun intended but it was a massive uh, effort to actually uh, get this thing launched. I got a little bit of inside information, having conversations with some of the staff at Hasbro. Um, so there were a lot of moving pieces uh, that went into play to make this happen, but it happened nonetheless. Uh, so hats off to uh, people like uh, Ren over at Hasbro, uh, to John Warden, uh, to Ben. Um, th those guys uh, really put a lot of effort into making this thing happen. Uh, Let's, just for some clarity, Unicron is not, um, he's not uh, Optimus Prime. He's not Bumblebee. He's not uh, one of these characters that he uh, continually put out and uh, redesign and, and reintroduce. And uh, there's different iterations of him. Uh, Unicron uh, has, came out in the 1986 Transformers movie. Uh, then uh, we saw him again, I believe, in the Transformers Armada Um which I actually went out and and I got uh, uh, quite a few of the Transformers Armada figures, uh, even though by that time I was grown. Um, I took a break from Transformers a little bit once they got into uh, Beast Wars and Beast Machines, uh, only because I had grown up with my Transformers turning into uh, uh, vehicles and, and cars and, uh, and uh, tanks and planes and things like that. Um, so... Eh, the animal thing wasn't really my thing. Then when they reintroduced uh, Transform Transformers Armada came out um, and they were back to being vehicles and everything like that, I was like, okay, this is something I could get behind. Um, coincidentally, uh, once this Unicron uh, was introduced, and again, this Unicron is uh, the 1986, even though it's War for Cybertron and they're introducing it with this line, this is the 1986 iteration of Unicron. Uh, everything about his aesthetic, um, his size, uh, just everything about his design. This figure is the 1986 Unicron, uh, voiced by Orson Welles. It would have been nice if they would have did uh, actual some lines from Orson Welles from the Transformers, uh, the movie. Uh, they would have been able to put some sort of uh, engineering on uh, the figure to give us that. But nonetheless uh we're still getting a great figure but this figure that's coming out is the one that we've all been waiting for that we deserve and that we've been waiting for for the last 34 uh odd years um uh actually yeah, maybe 33 years but um regardless we're getting it um for those of you that backed it congratulations i know we'll be uh all sharing our uh photos and our reviews of it um right here on YouTube in uh, 2000, early 2021, when it's supposed to finally be done with manufacturing and being shipped to us uh, fans. So congratulations to you guys. Also congratulations uh, to the whole fandom. Again, I know we had some haters out there, uh, some people that were pretty bitter, but uh, this opens up a lot of doors. Again, because Star Wars is such a huge, massive, they have this fan base that's amazing. Uh, Star Wars has an entire land 
Star Wars land at Disneyland and Disney World. They got an entire land. And the Cell Barge, yes, yeah, Cell Barge is in one movie, but one of the biggest movies in the Star Wars franchise is in Return of the Jedi for one scene. But they were still able to crowdfund it on Hasbro Pulse, and they put it out. And not only did they get 100% of the backers, and they needed 5,000 minimum, but they got 176% uh, backed on that project. And the early buzz with uh, the Unicron project was, well, Unicron's a, a, a niche... Uh, uh, character uh, a lot of people don't know about Unicron um, Transformers isn't as big as Star Wars is and um, th there was some merit to a lot of those arguments but here's the thing um, they needed 8,000 backers to make Unicron happen they got when they actually were still showing the number on the website it looked like 8,400 now there may be people out there to actually argue and say oh well this is why it happened or that's why it happened or they fudge the numbers or whatever the case may be whatever your argument is all I know is that the company Hasbro decided that this niche character actually was worth it and the brand Transformers is big enough to justify doing it the, the same argument happened back in 2004 2005 when they announced that there was going to be a live action Transformers movies a lot of people were out there saying well Transformers isn't a big enough brand to actually have a motion picture uh, then there was uh, a bunch of fans that were really angry probably those same fans that were just as angry as the Unicron announcement um, they were angry when we found out Michael Bay was going to be directing the movies. I'm not going to lie, I was actually one of them. I wasn't a big fan of the Michael Bay pick, but all those movies ended up being number one blockbuster, uh, blockbuster uh, films in the movie theaters. So uh, you got you to pick and choose your battles. Uh, uh, those movies, all, what are we at, five movies now? Those five movies uh, were enough to uh, get the brand to where little kids nowadays that never lived in the 80s know who the Transformers are, who know who the characters are. Um, I'm glad they stopped Michael Bay before he could uh, butcher Unicron anymore as he did that Transformers 4 movie, which we all know was the worst out of all of them. And anyway, I'm glad they stopped him before that could happen. Um, but we finally got a chance to actually press reset on Unicron, get him back to where he's supposed to be at, and actually get the figure that we all been waiting for. Um, uh, as far as the Armada uh, situation, I actually put out a uh, uh, Primus prayer, a prayer to Primus uh, for uh, this uh, project to be uh, fully backed and uh, to go into production. And apparently prayer works. Um, and uh, I actually uh, put that up on uh, Sabertron.com. Um, and uh, it was actually shared. Also, I, I uh, um, um, left a comment uh, with the prayer on it um, on Unicron.com on their Facebook page. Um, and I know that uh, they were gracious enough to actually share it um, on their page themselves. Uh, but prayer works. We got Unicron. I'm so happy. Uh, blessed to have it. Um, it won't be replacing this. I got rid of my Armada Unicron. Uh, um, back when uh, he came out in 04 sometime or something like that but uh, I ended up getting rid of the rest of my Armada uh, collection along with the comic books and everything like that just to actually help pad uh, um, getting the new Unicron uh, this one the Amazon exclusive 25th anniversary one uh, I'm still going to hold on to it I like this one a lot but clearly he's getting replaced clearly he's getting replaced uh, for a more suitable contender and uh the real deal holy field uh it'll be here early 2021 uh so just like all the other fans out there i can't wait um i've already got a uh, space for him right up there on top of my uh detox cabinet i got fort max up there right now along with uh jetfire and um he's gonna be coming down i have to find another spot for him that's gonna be unicron spot right there um but uh those are my thoughts on the situation. Uh, I want to hear your opinions too. Uh, I know that there's some people out there that still a little uh, feel a kind of way about the way that Hasbro did everything with this. Um, but let's let bygones be bygones and enjoy the moment. Uh, but please comment down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the whole situation. Did you back it? Um, and if you did back it, uh, how excited are you? Um, I know to celebrate last night after I found out it was getting back, um, I went ahead and uh, put on. Uh, 
1986 movie and I just sat down here in the toy toy store and uh, I just enjoyed it man had a nice time sitting there pretending I was 10 years old again so um again leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the whole project and uh some of the upcoming things we've had a good year so far um that Transformers War for Cybertron siege line has been uh everything all that and then some um they did a great great job on that line I picked up the Omega Supreme, I was able to get that. I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a review on that. That's coming. Um, I just have to play catch up on a few other things. Um, I also got the Jetfire that Hasbro sent me. So thank you guys very much. Very gracious. Thank you very much for sending me that. Uh, very G1-esque. Uh, it's what us G1 fans are looking for. Uh, we're very happy to have the Siege line. It's bringing us back to this kind of stuff right here. So thank you for putting the fans first. Um, but yeah, it's been a great year so far. Uh, with uh, the Hasbro uh, toy, toy line, the Transformers toy line. Um, what do I got coming up? What do I got coming up? Oh, uh, Joker movie. That review is coming up. I'm going to review that movie. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to let the cat out the bag. Um, no spoilers or anything like that. But uh, that is the next video that's going to be coming up. So please stay tuned. Thank you for rocking with me too. Thank you guys that have been supporting the channel. Um, I've been seeing the uh, subscribers going up and everything like that. And I'm only doing it because I'm just such a big fan. And I love meeting and hearing from other fans uh, of all of these franchises and brands. I really do. Um, it's something that we all can relax and enjoy. And uh, take us back to when we were kids. And uh, it kind of helps heal a lot of wounds uh, you never know who you're gonna meet uh, who has the same interest that you do uh, you can't judge a book by its cover trust me I know so with that being said thank you for tuning in to toys noise and action figures I've been your host Red Cheney. Uh as always be good to yourself be good to others you work hard open your toys play with them enjoy peace Miles Morales they might just call me challenge if I got to catch them all the volunteer to take the challenge Bang, 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 bang. Action figures. Welcome to the Terra Drone.